GeoGrid – Facts versus Myths You may have heard some differing opinions on GeoGrid in the hardscape industry. Our team of experts, who have a combined experience of over 200 years, want to make sure you have the solid facts. Myth – GeoGrid is hard to install. Fact – GeoGrid does not require any special equipment to be installed. Typically, it can be rolled out by one to two team members. It is easy to cut to the required length using readily available tools, such as scissors. Myth – It's okay if GeoGrid overlaps a little bit. Fact – It's not okay for GeoGrids to overlap. GeoGrid should butt together, but not overlap. Any overlap of GeoGrid could cause slippage. If you have questions about how to install GeoGrid in a curved project to ensure no overlap, we are happy to help and provide diagrams. Myth – You need stamped engineering to use GeoGrid. Fact – You do not always need stamped engineering to use GeoGrid. But in the case that your city requires it, our partner Hardscape Technical Services can assist. Myth – You can use retaining wall GeoGrid for road stabilization. Fact – No. Retaining wall GeoGrid is designed for use with walls. However, SRW offers road-based GeoGrid specifically designed for road stabilization. Myth – It doesn't matter what type of GeoGrid I use. Fact – It is important to use the right type of grid for your specific project. Our experts can assist you if you have questions about the type of grid you need. Myth – All GeoGrids can be rolled out parallel to the wall facing. Fact – Most retaining wall GeoGrids are unidirectional, which means that the strength is only in one direction, which is the roll direction. It must be rolled out perpendicular to the wall face and cut to the correct length. However, our SRW Universal and 3 Series GeoGrids are bidirectional, which means they have the same strength in both directions and can be rolled out parallel to the wall face. Myth – The GeoGrid doesn't have to be as long if you use additional layers. Fact – The distance that the GeoGrid goes back into the soil is a critical element of the structural design. Thus, you can't shorten the GeoGrid by adding layers. Myth – I can add extra courses of block to my retaining wall if needed. Fact – Maybe on a short wall, but in most cases the GeoGrid will not be long enough, have enough layers, or be strong enough to stand the additional loading. We can help determine if it is possible. We are the experts. If you heard other myths about GeoGrid and want to get the answer straight, let us know. At SRW Products, we strive to provide top quality products that allow users to get the job done right. SRW Products can provide free preliminary designs through our relationship with Hardscape Technical Services. These designs will show what courses of block the GeoGrid will be placed on and how far back into the soil it goes. With enough information, a material estimate is included with the preliminary design. The material estimate will include block, cap, adhesive, geogrid, fabric, crushed rock, and on-site soils quantities. This is very helpful in the planning, bidding process. When or if it becomes time for stamped engineering, Hardscape Technical Services can facilitate that in a timely, economical manner. Check out our website for additional information or give us a call. We are the experts.